Hi, Prep students. Uh, this is the second video of two. The first one all about Google Drive. The first one was all about using Google Drive on the web. This one is going to take, uh, take place on the iPad and, and talk about how to use Google Drive on the iPad. So here I go. I'm going to go and search for Google Drive. Okay, and it already comes up, so I'm going to press on it. And as you can see, I'm already logged in, and it looks quite similar to the way it does on the uh, web version. It has the areas for you for my drive, what's shared with me, star that allows you to go quickly to files that you need, and obviously your recent files are the ones that you've been working on. I also want to pay, pay, put your attention towards this button called offline, which is great. This means any files that are actually on your iPad that, uh, that you have. Uh, you can have them there that way if you're not connected by Wi-Fi, you can just star them and then you can view it offline. Okay. These are the uploads. These are things that uh, I've recently uploaded to my account. And I'm just going to really back up for a second and I'm going to totally sign out. And I'm just going to show you the sign up. Just so you're aware of what it looks like. Get started. And it's going to get you right to your normal sign in. And again, we're using the same password that we're using for the computer. And this is exactly the same as the web experience. OK, and now we're in. Now, this plus button here allows you to create things. The only thing that's missing at the moment is the presentation tool. And as Mr. Gadetz uh, has told us, and I think I'd like to pass on to you guys, you can also use an app called uh, GoodNotes that has a presentation tool. So you can always use the presentation tool there. But what I really like is this button right here, the Upload Videos. Okay, this is, will be so helpful, and this is what I'm going to show you right now. I'm just going to upload a picture. So if, you, if there's something that you are working on, let's say, and you want to upload it to your Google Drive so that you can share it with someone, like a teacher, or you can, you know, maybe a, a document that you worked on a sketch, or just a photo. I'm just going to take a screen capture here, and I'm going to press Upload. Okay, and as you can see, on the uploads on the left side of your screen, you can see that it's working. And if I go to Uploads, there's the image. So that's the first thing, uploading pictures. Same thing happens with videos. You can do the same thing with a, with a video. What I also like is you could actually press the Use Camera button, and you could shoot a video right away, right here. And mine's blank right now just because I'm, I've got my iPad working. Okay, so I'm just going to get rid of that. Um, other things. Okay, let's do the shared folder. Now this is again really important. As you can see, I've got one here. I've got uh, one for Mr. Milligan. Let's do one for Miss Iafrey. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press plus. I'm going to go to folder. And again, we're keeping the same convention. So I've got P, 6, C, and let's do, I'm not sure if Miss Iafrey teaches this, but we'll social studies okay and I'm gonna put my name and it's very important that you keep this same convention because uh, we do the class the subject and your name because your teacher when this is all done will have a whole list of folders from you I'm gonna press create okay and there we go and now I'm gonna press this arrow button and I'm on private and myself can access it. who can access it well what we want to do is press this uh, three lines in the corner, and you'll see a share button. Add. Okay, I'm going to put Miss Iafrady at BayviewGlen.ca. Now, be very careful with the spelling. Unlike the web version, it doesn't prompt you with, uh, with the name, so you really have to know the address and the spelling correct. I'm going to press Add, and Miss Iafrady can now edit this folder. And that's how you do it. It's very important that you have that available to you. Now, if I want to work in the, in the folder, I'm going to go into the Social Studies folder, and you can see there are no items, and press Create. Now, anything I create or upload into this folder, she will be able to see. So this is really important that you use this for finished work. You don't use it for things that you're not quite sure about. These are things that you're finished that you want to see her, uh, that, that you want that Miss Ifrady to see.
Okay? Um, that covers the two things that I wanted, uploading and also uh, adding a folder. Another option that I'm going to try very quickly is that you can open things in other devices. So if I go to a program, let's see if I can find something that, um, okay, let's use one of the, let's go in here and have a look at good notes. When I go into good notes, and I've just got a schedule here, I'm going to press these, and you can press export. I'm going to export current page, and you can see that Google Drive is the second one listed. So I can actually export. My Google Drive pop, pops up here. You can see there's a folder. There's the folder I just shared with Miss Iafredi. I'm going to press upload, and now she has a copy of that. So now we've uploaded from one app to another into Google Drive. I hope that's helpful. Thanks very much for watching.